Hi, and welcome to my quick presentation on opening the box of the Sony Xperia Ion uh, phone. This phone um, just came out um, in the second quarter or third quarter of 2012, and these are the specs. Um, it's a pretty big phone, it's got a 2.6 inch screen, which we'll look at later, but it seems to be have some sweet mode on the camera. It's got the Bravia engine to watch movies. 12 megapixels camera, two 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor, uh, Wi-Fi, HDMI, D DLNA, all sorts of things. So let's open the box and see what is inside. So it's quite well presented. I bought this box. This uh, I ordered this from Hong Kong, and it came through just just a moment ago. So opening the box, uh, what you see is, is the handset straight away. Brilliant. Um, yeah, it's got a, um, as I understand, it's got a metal a uh, metal back. It's got a plastic top and bottom. There's the camera and the light. Let's uh, take some of this uh, off. Decut. So that's the handset. This is my hand. So it fits fairly comfortably. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, this is being filmed on an Xperia Arc phone, actually. So I had some luck with Sony, so I thought I'd stick with them, with this new one. So what else in the box? Uh, let's have a look. So we've got a pair of headphones. This looks like a standard standard set. So this is this will allow you to speak on during um, a phone call. So it's got stereo um, headphones with a little tie clip and different earbud sizes. Uh, so that's kind of neat that they give you a pair of hand pair of headphones, and it's kind of a nice style. Uh, looking at those, so it's got a little microphone there, a little button to receive, and there's your pod pod headphones. So they're pretty cool. That's good that they gave you those. A lot of things nowadays don't. Uh, I bought this from China. I'm in the UK at the moment and uh, I thought I'd get a cheaper deal from Hong Kong. So I bought it from China and ordered the English version and they sent me a uh, European version but they also sent me a random um, a random adapter. So I don't know why they expect me to use that but fortunately I'll be using it in Europe so I'm quite happy with that. I've already got a British one. Um, let's have a look what else is in, in the box. What have we got up here? Ah, this looks pretty cool. This is your this is your US micro USB connector. So this is a micro USB connector that you can plug uh, into the side of the phone. Uh, where have you plug it into? Do you know? I guess it'd be here. Um, and in the other side, it looks like we've got some books to read. I don't know why they buy even sending books. I don't think anybody reads that anymore. And that's it in the box. So we've got plenty of documentation. If you like documentation, this is your thing. Uh, so it's got a battery. It's got a um, it's got a startup guide in various languages. <laughs> it's got some important information. I might keep that one. And more random languages and some information about how strong the radio signal is. So this is uh, pretty cool. Let's just switch it on and see how it is. So around the phone, let's have a quick tour around the phone. You've got your um, power button, you've got your volume rocker button, button which is also uh, used for zooming, what well, uh, digital zoom. And you've also got a, a quick camera button here, so you can quickly jump to the camera. And from their advertising, I think they say that you can um, jump to that to being ready to take a photo in one second, which is pretty amazing. So, it gives you a little vibrate to show you press the button. And let's see it start up. So, after a little bit of looking around the phone I re and switching it on, it tells you every time, every 15 minutes, that without putting a SIM card in your phone, which goes here, it will turn this phone on, off which sounds rubbish. So um, what I've got to do, I've got to take my old phone, I've got to take the SIM card that I got with the phone, and I have to make it fit into this, into here. Um, I was hoping that this would just go straight in, and I thought, oh, it's got an adapter, so I'll just pop that in its place and just shove it in. But actually what happens is it goes really deep in the hole, so you actually need to cut it in place. Now I've looked into this, and what you need to do is cut it so it's 15 millimeters high and 12 millimeters across. And they say use, this, use some scissors. So I'm going to eyeball this. 
to make this fit into this. Okay, and there you go. There is your micro SD in the slot. Just like that. Gosh, I hope this works. Otherwise, I'm screwed. So what we do now is we put it in the card slot. And now the phone is reading. Ah, shutting off. But hopefully now, when I switch it on the next time, it should be good to go. So now I've put the SIM card in and we're going to switch it on. Okay, so the phone is now rebooted and I've got the SIM card in and it's charging um, with the adapter and you can see here this is where the USB goes in and it can charge and like all the Xperia phones it can charge off your computer if your computer's got a, a powerful USB port and also it's got a micro HD cable. Now when I got my Sony Xperia Arc, which is the phone I'm recording this on now. Um, it actually came with a Sony uh, Micro HD to prop full HD size adapter. But I've noticed with this phone, even though it comes with a nice pair of headphones in a nice box, it doesn't actually come with it. So I guess they're trying to sell that as an accessory. Okay, so um, I've had a bit of play with it. Um, playing around with all the functions and I'll just give you a quick tour of the kind of software that's loaded. So the first thing is I installed the face detection which is new. So what you do, you press the, to get this out of sleep mode, you press the button, power button, and it takes a picture of you and it automatically unlocks the phone which is pretty cool. Um, although it's not very secure because somebody could just take a picture of you. Um, the phone came with um, Android 2 um, point something on it which I think is gingerbread and um, since getting the phone and, and installing software and things like that I've upgraded the phone with this automatic software update to Android 4 although um, the interface has been from the basic Google interface seems different I think Sony have changed it um, to get your settings you actually have to pull down this top bar and press the um, press this this icon and you get all of your um, all of your settings here so if you go about phone you can see um, the Android version 4.04 .04 and um, the build status 6 um, what I'm not used to is these buttons I I see I saw in other reviews that they were people found them tricky to use and I thought how how hard can they be a touch sensitive button but actually they're a little bit annoying to um, to have I if you press the press the button, um, they're not always as responsive as you, as you think. When the phone came, it was it was standard um, to have the vibrate, vibrating um, thing on with the phone, and I I wasn't sure I liked that, so I, I switched it off because it made quite a, a buzz. Um, anyway, so it's got the standard music player, but the speaker is on the back here, so it's put the volume all the way up and it's fairly loud it's quite good and and you can flick through all of the different music like this it's pretty cool it's quite nice there you go, you see what I mean? Although I just discovered something fun. There you go, that's the, um, this is the gingerbread 4 thing. So you can see all the apps running in the background and you can get rid of them. So you do that, which I've just discovered by holding down the home screen. Um, so to get to apps, um, here they are. And they've given you um, uh, a demo video that you can that you can have a play with. If I can find it. So this screen has got a, a full, I believe, 720 screen on it. So when you fire this onto your monitor, you should be getting um, the full resolution. So it looks pretty neat. 
It's really nice screen, really good colours, as you can see. Um, what else? What else is that? Um, not a huge amount different from any other any other Android phone. Um, there's this there's this um, flashing button on the top next to the camera, which um, seems to be a notification light. I haven't quite got to grips with what all the different colours mean, but sometimes red, sometimes it's green. And I think if it's red, it means that it wants you to look at something up here. Um, so under the bottom um, panel is, is your um, phone information. There's nothing down the bottom. You have your microphone. On this side you have your um, camera button, your uh, volume rocker and your power button at the top. As we saw, you've got your, micro S your, your SIM card and your micro SD, your camera, uh, USB and micro HDMI. Now I'm really looking forward to having a, this HDMI because I've seen that you can um, plug this straight into your TV and it will give you a media player. So that is what we're going to do next. We're going to go and plug it into the TV and have a look. Okay, brilliant.